Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and this here is my craft corner where I talk about knitting and sometimes other yarn related crafts. So today I wanted to share with you 10 free sweater patterns that you will just want to knit up straight away. Firstly I'd like to mention that I will not be including any patterns by Drops. They have a free website with 19,000 free patterns and you can just look through and I found all of my patterns on Ravelry. So just know Drops is out there. They have so many patterns, but I will not be including them. I have divided this video up into three parts. First of all, basics, so just plain sweaters basically. Then some cables and otherwise detailed sweaters. And then some color works and stripes. So let's get into it. First of all, I have the Just Sweater by Lolo Unico. This is a fingering and lace weight held double. And it comes in four sizes, which is not as inclusive as I would like to see it, but it's a free pattern. But this is partially worked in the round. It's, well, mostly worked in the round. The shaping is done by short rows, but otherwise it's worked in the round. Then I have the Winter League Pullover by Alexandra Tavel. This is a bulky weight sweater, so it will knit up pretty quickly. And it comes in eight sizes, which is a bit more inclusive and has worked fully in the round, as far as I could see. So this one looks pretty plain, but it has some detail here with the X. And I think that's really cute. I think that's really cute detail. I think this sweater will be really good for beginners or if you were just wanting to knit up a sweater pretty quickly, you can finish this pretty much in no time, I think. Then I have the warm-up sweater by Espace Trico. This is an Aran weight sweater and it comes in 12 sizes and is worked in the round. It looks pretty similar to the first one that I talked to you about, the Just sweater. But this is an Aran weight and um, it comes in more sizes, 12. So it uh, might be a nice alternative if you were looking for a more size inclusive pattern. And this one is worked in the round again. Then I have the next category, which is the cables and details. I really like cable sweaters and I want to get into knitting them so bad. And all of these are now pretty high up my to knit list. But first I have the Pandora Mixed Cables Pullover by Emma Wright. I have a knitting book by Emma Wright and I really like the book. So seeing that she has a free pattern out as well for a cable sweater is really nice. So this is a DK weight sweater and it comes in eight sizes and it's worked flat, which I think is pretty common with uh, cabled sweaters. But I really like the different cables with the uh, just straight rib line in the middle. Yeah, I really like the details of this and it's not too complicated, but it, yeah, it has a nice touch of detail, I think. Then I have the Beatnik sweater by Nora Goggen. This is an Aran weight sweater. It comes in seven sizes and it worked flat again. This looks pretty complicated with all the cables uh, overlaying each other, but I think it's really doable and it looks incredible, especially in this color. It just looks incredibly difficult, I think, but cables are not too difficult. I think cable sweaters are really fun like that because it looks like you put so much work in from the outside and you did put a lot of work in but it's not as hard as people who don't knit uh, think it is. Then I have an even more incredible cable knit uh, which is the Handsome Chris Pullover by Karen Schaeffer. This is inspired by the sweater that uh, Chris Evans wears in Nice Out I think and this is just all over cables. It looks so incredibly difficult but I think it would be an amazing pattern to knit up. And this currently comes in seven sizes, but I know she's added sizes before. When you download this pattern, you will be sent to a Google Docs that will be updated when new sizes come out or when mistakes are found. So I think that's a really nice way of sharing a pattern. This, uh, as I said, currently comes in seven sizes, but might include more in the future. And it is fully worked flat. Um, yeah, I, this would be a dream knit someday if I ever have time. 
which probably won't happen but this just it just looks incredible to me and for free even amazing um, then we're actually on to the third category which is the color work and stripes section and first of all I have the Beatrice by June Thompson which is a sports or DK weight I could not really figure out which one it was but it's somewhere there uh, it comes in seven sizes and is mostly worked in the round but some parts I think down to the uh, button band um, it's worked flat and then you join in the round and work the rest and I think this is a really cute pattern it's kind of inspired by the Parisian look that a couple years ago people were really into and yeah I just really love this one. I think it's such a cute sweater that I'd really, that I'd really just like to have in my wardrobe right now. Uh, but I don't have the time for that. So that's, uh, that sucks. Then I have the Night and Day sweater by Katja Dreiberg. This is a fingering weight held double and it comes in four sizes, so it's not as inclusive again. And this is worked in the round. And these stripes are incredible. Um, this looks so incredibly difficult to keep track of, or especially to make the pattern off. But having this in my wardrobe would be incredible. Just wearing this out and being like, oh yeah, I made this. Incredible. Uh, I can't even tell you any more than that. It's just an incredible pattern and I would love to have this. Then I have the Hokkaido sweater by Sisto Grau. This is just a pretty plain striped sweater, which is a nice basic to have, I think. It's an Aaron Wade pattern. It comes in six sizes and it's worked in the round. I think the pretty big ribbing part is amazing it's the neckline i love it and the stripes are a really nice detail to something that would otherwise be a pretty plain sweater which is nice as well i might even knit it up without stripes but i think the stripes are a cute details with this one and this again is a really nice basic to have and i think an aaron weight sweater would be great for winter and then I already have the last pattern for you, which is the Santa Baby sweater by Hanne Rimmen, which is obviously inspired by Christmas with the yoke and the name itself. Um, but it comes in five sizes and is knit fully in the round. And if I had time, I would knit this up before Christmas because it's just perfect with the trees and everything. I really like it. I really like these colors. I don't know what colors I would pick. Maybe just the same, but this sweater is incredible um uh, again those were all the patterns already i flew right through them i think and i will link all of the patterns down below i will make a ravelry bundle if i can figure out how to do that again um with all the patterns in them so you can check them out down there and comment down below which pattern was your favorite out of all these and yeah i'll see you guys again real soon bye